Okay, everybody's getting uh, lined up over here to start catching the dogs and stuff. So we got the city out, the doctors out, and they're going to start taking some of the dogs away. Okay, so they got at least one. They're taking him to fix him up. Something was wrong with him, so they're taking him back. <laughs> And she helps the dogs on the other the other mountain. Oh, okay. Oh, every day. Oh, that one over there. Yeah. But, so, so what are they? What are they trying to do? Trying to get him to bring the puppy down to get the puppy's, the puppy's not getting anything from them. Oh, okay. What what's this one going for? So when I walked down the same path we came up, yep. all the dogs were really docile. They were just all laying there. Well, they didn't bark at me. They didn't do anything. They just laid there. All right. That's good. They're usually pretty chill after they eat. Right. It's just like that morning excitement, like give me the food. But mm -hmm. Easy. Just get I feel bad for him since it's real stressful for them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him go. Is he gonna run the dogs down for him? <laughs> he brought one already. I think he's gonna bring the rest. That one's pretty docile right there. Jeez. <laughs> they gave us medicine to put in the food to make them sleep. So all the dogs are
dogs are pretty docile because they gave them some medicine in their food this morning kind of makes them groggy so they'll be easier to walk up on um, I'm not sure what they're waiting on right now but I guess they're trying to figure out a game plan on how they're gonna get the dogs Alright, so far they've darted three dogs. Those are the dogs that need to be neutered. They've given all the other dogs their booster shot for rabies. And uh, I think they're still got a couple up here they're going to dart and uh, take back and uh, neuter as well. So we'll keep uh, filming when we see something that's happening. But 
Doesn't look like this is gonna be too quick. All right, later. Hey, we're down by the security officer there. This is the uh, platform up where everybody does their exercises and stuff. And then you go down the stairs of the playground area down there where there's a bunch of dogs down there too. dogs here to take care of and then we're going to go there. This, this guy's going to get out of here in a second. Okay, this is where the uh, skittish dogs are, the ones that like to bark at you. So she took down two of the guys with her so she can grab the dogs and they won't be all jittery. Down there with two of the guys.
shot. Let's see about the rest of them. See if they don't get too skittish. Hit them with the tranquilizer guns from the stairs up above. Thank you for being here today, Doctor. And can you tell us who are you? Um, hello. My name is Quan Chai Chai Plum from uh, Animal Army Foundation. Uh, I am a vet who working at uh, the foundation. So we are here for the uh, uh, mass sterilization campaign on the uh, Patanak Hill, Pattaya City. So we have very contagious uh, disease report from Pattaya City that we found many dogs having babies. So we need to settle down on the, on the vaccination and sterilization on the street dogs. Okay. And what about Animal Army? How long have you had that foundation? We have about a year. A year now? We have registered mm -hmm. uh, from the government that uh, we have fully um, registered uh, the foundation in uh, Thailand. 
Okay. And what services do you provide with Animal Army? What What do you do every day there? Yeah, we have the uh, the team that um, you know um, to help speed dogs and uh, help the um, animal cruelty abusive, mm -hmm. and then uh, we have a team to do the legal actions for the for the abusive on and uh, cruelty wow. animals, and also we help the injury dogs and um, many sick dog mm -hmm. and. Uh, we have a uh, ambulance. We have the rescue um, ambulance mm -hmm. for the uh, animal um, accident. Okay. So, if people are out walking and they see an injured animal, what can they do? Uh, we have our phone to contact mm -hmm. and can reach directly to me. And also, we have our web page, Animal Army Foundation. Okay. My phone number is zero eight five. Zero nine three five nine five four, and they can call that number if there's an emergency with an injured animal. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Just send me the uh, picture, locations, mm -hmm. and uh, fully details if okay. possible. And uh, is it very expensive? No, uh, we do for free for okay. charge. Okay. But we <clears throat> like to make sure that we can uh, reach the animal injury in time okay to save the animal that's very good now what if what if somebody has a pack of dogs near their condo that are always having babies is there anything that they can do uh, they just uh, send me the details mm -hmm. and then we come up with a team with the data mm -hmm. dog catcher and then we need to sterilize wow. to the uh, stock population that's great yeah. what a wonderful service so Thank you so much uh, for what you're doing here and for everything that you do to help all these animals. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, so if somebody wants to donate, how can they do that? Yeah, uh, they can contact the uh, my webpage, Animal Army Foundation, and then we have our PayPal account, and also we have the uh, QR code, and also we have Pompey in my uh, webpage okay. to donate. And, Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh, she's so cute.